আসসালামু আলাইকুম এটা হলো ডোনাট আমার ছেলে বানাইছে দেখেন খুব সুন্দর হয়েছে আর খেতে তো খুবই মজা হয়েছে কারণ খুবই ফ্লাফি এই যে এখন একটা ভেঙে দেখাবে এই যে খুবই স্পঞ্জি হয়েছে আশা করছি ভিডিওটা ভালো লাগবে ফুল রেসিপিটা এখন দেখিয়ে দেব Pouring some milk into the half a, take a half a cup of milk. I'm going to pour it into this bowl. Now I'm going to microwave this for about 30 to 40 seconds. Make sure it's lukewarm. So now it's lukewarm for about 30 to 40 seconds, not too hot. And so today I'm going to be using a dry yeast, dry active yeast. I'm going to be using one sachet directly to the milk. You don't want the milk to be too hot, otherwise the yeast will die. Also, make sure that you check the expiry date of the yeast, otherwise if it's expired, it's not going to be Sit for about 5 to 10 minutes. When it starts getting frothy, I'm going to show you back. I connect a bowl in this bowl. I'm going to get 3 chamus butter. I'm going to get butter in the microwave. Two minutes away, just melt hot juno, melt hot for it. Dekhen. It's all nice and melted. And now, to this, I'm gonna add two room temperature eggs, and then I got a quarter cup measurement, and I'm gonna add quarter cup of sugar. sugar. Quarter cup, I'm gonna add the quarter cup of sugar into it. You can already smell it, it's very nice, rich, and just smells delicious. So I'm gonna leave it aside and wait for my yeast to activate. So I'm back. So while the dry, uh, wet ingredients and the yeast activate, I'm gonna get my dry ingredients ready and take two cups of plain white flour. So I've got a cup measurement here. So yeah, I'm going to just sift the flour in. flour is done and to the flour I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt to give it that nice flavor brings out all the flavor yes not too much just a half a teaspoon and just give it like a quick mix make sure all the salt is worked into all the flour yeah my dry ingredients ready just waiting for the yeast to rise so now as you can see my yeast and milk mixture has risen this is what you're looking for. If it doesn't happen like this, please restart because it's not going to work out. So now I'm going to take my butter and egg mixture and I'm going to pour this into here. Make sure you get all the yeast. Don't want to mix in, you miss any of them because this is what's going to make the donut nice and perfect. I'm just going to mix it into it. Don't, don't do it too roughly. Just gently mix it in. Just work it in. Now, you're going to take your dry, uh, dry ingredients and I'm just going to pour all of the liquid mixture into it. So now I'm just going to mix in the dry with the wet. As you can see the liquid is a bit too much so it's, going, it's not going to be a very firm dough. It's going to be a liquidy, sticky dough. But that's what you are going to get. And now I'm going to knead the dough, so I'll take in this board and then I'll spread some flour into it. Make sure you have a bit of the flour. Okay. And I'm going to drop my dough into the board. It's going to be very sticky, so you need to work your way through it. Make sure you, the arid side of it is covered by fresh flour, so otherwise it will start sticking. So now I'm going to knead the dough 
until you get a very smooth texture. Don't be afraid to add more flour to the surface. So the dough is now nice and kneaded. The way you can identify that it is done, poke it and it should be coming back. So it's very bouncy and airy. So now I'm gonna take a bowl. I'm going to be reusing my dough bowl. Yeah. Or maybe it's the pan, put a nice coating around it so nothing sticks. I'm going to take my lovely dough. I'm just gonna let it sit in there. I'm gonna cover it with a clean film. So I'm going to cover it with a clean film. And I'm gonna put it inside a warm in a warm place for one hour. So it's been in one hour and my dough has risen. So now I'm going to take some more flour to pour my dough out. And just using your hand. So my dough is now ready. I got this cook, uh, circle cookie cutter. So I'm just going to, so my dough is in already. I'm going to take it on a plate and let it rest for five more minutes before I start frying them up. So all the donuts are ready. I'm taking a non-sticky pan, I'm gonna fill it up with oil and I'm gonna deep fry it. So my oil's heating up. I'll be using a chopstick to flip up the donuts. And also it's the best way if you want to check if the oil is hot or not. Dip the chopstick in, if, if it starts bubbling, the oil is hot. Oil is hot now. So I'm just going to be placing my donuts. Make sure the oil temperature, the heat is on very low, otherwise it will burn it. So once it's done, I'll show it. So after two and a half minutes on one side, I'm just going to flip it over. If you want this sort of texture, make sure it's not overburnt. And just let it cook again for another two and a half to three minutes. So now I'm going to mix and create the topping for it. So I'm going to add some icing sugar to this plate. I'm going to take a, my green milk and add tiny amounts to it at a time an icing sugar liquidy which you can take all the sugar from the side and there you go love it so my beautiful donuts are ready now so I'm now gonna dip them in sugary icy glaze so you take a donut and then do the swirl technique and then you just let it place and let it sit and dry so now I'm gonna be using these toppings then got the hard shape as well. So I'm just gonna repeat the process for them. Complete hoye galu special donor. Asha kuchhi video uta bharo lagbe. Bharo lagle obishe like korben, share korben, aaramachhe ke subscribe korben, aaramachhe le jino doa korben. Allah peace.